Now, for most people, running a marathon is an achievement. For one grandmother from Kent, though, it's just a training session. Mimi Anderson began running in her late 30s to overcome anorexia and has since gone on to become one of the top endurance runners in the world, breaking records wherever she goes. Now she's preparing for her biggest challenge yet, to become the fastest woman to run across America. Sophie Rayworth went to meet her. For the next seven and a half weeks, Mimi Anderson will be running at least 55 miles every single day as she makes her way from L.A. to New York. It's taken years of planning and a lot of training. Oh, it's been really, really hard work. But I've sort of built up my distances so that I will do a week where I'm running 18, 19 miles every single day. And then the following week, I'm, I'm running a marathon every single day. And then I'm doing 30 miles every single day. My run will start from Los Angeles and it'll go all the way through Colorado. She'll pass going. through 12 states in all as she tries to break the women's coast-to-coast -coast record set in 1979. 2,850 miles in total. That's a long way. Oh, well, here are all your medals. What a haul. I know. I have to say, I'm quite proud of them, actually. Quite wow. proud. But Mimi is used to tough challenges. She took up running in her mid-30s and since then has conquered some of the hardest endurance races in the world. This one here, the Marathon des Sables, which is 250 kilometres over six days in the Sahara Desert was my very first race in 2001. Nearly died doing it, but I loved it. That was fantastic. Um, and then this race here, the iconic Badwater Ultra Marathon. Well done, Mimi. 100 miles here. Which is 135 miles in Death Valley in America. So I think Death Valley sort of sums it up, really. And they are races that have pushed her body to the limit. The Arctic race is called the 6633 Extreme Ultramarathon. It's 350 miles non-stop over eight days in temperatures as, as low as minus 40. And I actually won that race overall, male and female. And I came in, I think it was 24 hours ahead of the, the only other person who finished. But running across America is her toughest challenge yet. What drives you to do this? I love the challenge. I love, I love... Um, the thought of me physically and mentally, because that plays a big part, of actually being able to run the distances that I do. To power her to a new world record, she's relying on a lot of coffee, 10 pairs of running shoes and a support crew, including her husband, friends and a physio. She's already dreaming of the finish line. When I get to the steps of the New York City Hall, I'll crawl up those steps. Those steps, that I'm just going to love them and I'll get down on my knees and I'll kiss them if necessary. Mimi Anderson, who starts her journey across America on Thursday.